Hello everybody, my name is Champinator9000 and <clears throat> well wish I could say this a lo this was the first video I'm using my cool new controller, but as you can see, it's not on because I do I do not have the cord to sync it. So that's gonna be here Sunday. It's Friday. First off, here. Let's hear from our raw GM. You might see that we have a new raw arena. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is the final Raw before Extreme Rules, Extreme Rules pay-per-view. I am out here for a couple reasons. First, the first is congratulate Rusev on winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Next off, I have to say, Rusev, you do have a challenger at Extreme Rules. And so will the Intercontinental Champion, Luke Harper. Yes. So we will have a six-man ladder match tonight to decide who will win it. Or who will get the number one contendership opportunity. We also have to have some tag team titles or tag team competition. So, we got a number one contender match. And we have one more interesting match. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil tonight. I know tonight will be a phenomenal Raw, and I hope you all enjoy it as much as I know I will. Bam Bam Bigelow, the Raw General Manager. Now, I believe this is the Raw arena that Brendan Plays uses. Not quite sure. Believe so, though. So, I, I, I believe so. So we have Natural Disasters taking on Mr. Face. We have the six-man ladder match: The Flash, John Morrison, Brock Lesnar, The Rock, Dean Ambrose, and Sheamus. And then we have a triple threat to decide who will face Rusev at WrestleMania. Let's get into this six-man ladder match. The last time that uh, Brock Lesnar here was in a six-man ladder match, he lost his IC title at WrestleMania. Luke Harper won it. Now, I am going to go as the newly back Sheamus. Of course, he did get fired in year one. He is back, though. He is back. Why can't this load faster? I don't know. It really should load faster. We got the flash in this one. Uh, one half of Quick Perfect. One of the teams here on Raw. Quick Perfect. Um, they've had one tag team match. They were unsuccessful. So they're both gonna be they're both gonna be going for singles gold on the nights they don't have tag team matches. I mean they're gonna they're gonna try and get all the titles in WWE and you never know. Could start off here with the flash. Just the only one in this ladder match. And after that who knows what could happen. Oh my god, this takes forever. Seamus, I'm going to say I'm glad he's back. I am. Dean Ambrose. Now, I'm going to say this now. Normally, it's going to be Rollins and Reigns fighting for the shield with Ambrose as manager. But you never know, Ambrose might go in there sometimes. I can guarantee that 
no matter what, Ambrose is going to either be the manager or he's, or he's not even going to be out there. At Extreme Rules, actually, he won't be out there because it'll be Extreme Rules pay-per-view. It'll be an Extreme Rules tag team match, and he's not actually allowed out there. And I think it's about to finally load, please. Yes. I did just get the new Rock, the one with hair. Rock, actually on Raw after the four-time Intercontinental Champion, Brock Lesnar. The four, or sorry, uh, the Rock... Of course, he was the GM of SmackDown last year, and now he is here. Oh, yeah, this is a nation of, jo of domination, Rock. Yeah, this hasn't, this isn't the, if you smell what the Rock is. Cooking. John Morrison. The NXT champion. If he doesn't win this, I can get I can guarantee he will be taking on a pretty interesting competitor for the NXT title in well Jimmy Uso. What? Well, all right, he's he he wore out one of these, one of the tag team titles because well, he's allowed to. No one's telling him he can't. He's still wearing his Shield of ti attire, of course, since he is still part of the Shield. This is an entrance we have not seen in a long while. Here, he is in his return. Sheamus. Oh, looks like Lesnar is going to be coming out versus Sheamus. Who knows, maybe if Sheamus had gone to SmackDown last year, he would have stopped Lesnar from winning for... IC titles, and he would have held the IC title the entire year, but I guess we'll never know. John Morrison already in the ring setting up a ladder. Ambrose is going to go back in and try and stop him. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, Seamus... With an uppercut to the back of Lesnar's head. Oh my god! Lesnar huge strike to Sheamus. Oh, headbutt to the back of the head. Okay. Now kick to the back. It's really hard for me to focus on me playing and what's happening inside the ring and all around the ring. I can't focus on trying to reverse and have a good match if I'm constantly looking at other people and saying what's happening with them. But I can tell you the Flash is coming out and he's trying to pick a fight with maybe Lesnar. Lesnar now, he's about to pick up a ladder. Oh, Sheamus. Sheamus takes the letter from Lesnar and slams it into Lesnar. Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done. I don't care what John Morrison does. I don't care if he's a dual champion. That'd be pretty cool. No, I'm focused on making sure Lesnar does not become a five-time IC champion. That way Sami Zayn might be able to catch up or someone might be able to catch up and... I don't know. I just don't know. Ambrose is climbing. Rock in the ring. Not doing anything about it. Now he is. I don't know why the people in this match are just moving slow as dirt. But whatever. It 
Sorry, Rocky. Oh, rock thrown into the barricade. Oh no, punches to the head of the rock. Ambrose is climbing though. Ambrose climbing. Eh, yeah, Dean Ambrose didn't do much good up on top of that ladder, but... Oh, he's climbing again! He is climbing again! Okay, suplex. Alright, looks like Morrison and Flash both standing in the ring. Now only, now only Flash, sorry. Flash... He, we don't, he's never actually had a singles match here in universe mode. Seamus! Seamus and Ambrose working together to take out Morrison and Flash. Oh my god! Ambrose gets taken out. Lesnar following Sheamus. Perhaps Sheamus looking for a probe kick. He was. Lesnar countered. Brock Lesnar countered. Bro kick. Bro kick. Okay, Lesnar somehow getting back to his feet. Oh, no. Rock, he's climbing. The Rock is climbing. No, thanks. We got Rock, Brock. We got Rock and Brock. Forget Rock and Sock. We got Rock and Brock. Oh, Shane is knocked out cold. Rock sets up the ladder in the ring. Lesnar, is he going to leave the ring? No, he's going to taunt. Rock is climbing. The Rock is climbing. No one's got any yet. Rock, he's got one. He's got two. And I think only two. Oh my god, Sheamus has just taken every competitor out of the match. Are you going to climb or not? No? Okay. Flash just looking up at Sheamus. As Sheamus is pulling on the briefcase. And Sheamus finally taken out. He was up there far longer than he should have been as Flash was just watching him. Oh, Flash now. Flash perhaps setting up to end Sheamus. No way, GTS! Sheamus out cold in the center of the ring. Flash has the highest health in this match. The Flash is a pretty dominant singles competitor, as well as teaming with Ty Dillinger. Oh, no, Lesnar reverses. He takes the ladder from Sheamus. I think Brock's broken. He's just not doing anything. Don't hit me with that. Don't hit me with that. Sheamus is going to be going to 
Extreme Rules! He's taking his merry time climbing up the ladder. No! Rock takes him out just before. Oh no, Lesnar was setting up for the F5. Now, woo! Flip by John Morrison! Oh my god, John Morrison! What a main roster debut this would be if he was able to put Brock Lesnar through a ladder. I have no clue where I... Okay, I'm out here. No! No! Sheamus has just taken out both The Rock and John Morrison at the same time. Rock rolls out of the ring. It's just Sheamus and Morrison. This could be it. Winner advances to Extreme Rules to face the, the current Intercontinental Champion, Luke Harper. Brock Lesnar already has gotten hit with one brogue kick. Oh my god! What's this? The Irish curse? Oh my god! Why did you come in the ring, Rocky? Why would you want to come in the ring with a beast like Sheamus? That might be why! Sheamus reverses into a crossbody. Oh, Sheamus hit with a ladder. Rock, Flash, Ambrose, Lesnar in the ring. Flash is rolled out. It's only Rock, Ambrose, and... Lesnar! Brock Lesnar is gonna do it! And he, for the, like, a hundred time, is gonna go for the Intercontinental Championship. Brock Lesnar. Oh my god. Lesnar. To become a five time IC champion. Wow. Alright. I'm gonna do this. Lesnar v. Harper. I see. Wow. In that is a contract to face Luke Harper. Next, we have a number one contendership for Rusev's World Heavyweight Championship. After winning it in a grueling tournament against... Um... Well, he won it in a tournament. And he defeated Jack Swagger in the end, and he won the title. Now we have a triple threat. Cody Rhodes, for probably one of the last times, wearing his yellow and blue attire. And I threw Aiden English in there because we haven't seen him in universe mode at all. Neither have we seen Simon Gotch. Oh, we may have in the in NXT. He's making his main roster debut. Um, I'm going to go with Cesaro. I think Cesaro versus Rusev. Would be a pretty epic match. That would be a pretty epic match. Then again, Cody Rhodes could debut his brand new awesome looking attire. This is Cody Rhodes? It is! I think my attire for him looks a bit better. It's a lot less complicated, but... Savannah, Savannah. I... Oh my gosh! It's the old guy, Aiden English! Oh no, doesn't he sing in the opera? Yeah. Who cares about you and your stupid opera voice, Aiden? You have a horrible singing voice! Oh yeah, and we are in the worst city on the on planet on the planet right now. 
first person in the comments to tell me will get a shout out and a character debuting on the main roster at Extreme Rules. If they comment before that, if not, then they'll just get a character on the main roster for the entire year too. No way! Oh, Cesaro so close to throwing Rhodes in the tape into the table from behind and perhaps stealing the win of the match just like that. Rhodes moving the table because he realized how risky that was. Cesaro has dominated this match thus far. Cesaro pretty much a spear into Rhodes, but as you saw there, it was of course not enough to uh, put Rhodes through the table. Cesaro though, oh no, Cesaro, it's swing time for Cody Rhodes. Aiden English body blocking the table, therefore Cesaro cannot throw Cody Rhodes through it. Oh my god, Cesaro. Cesaro, just stomping away on Aiden English. No one's stopping him. Aiden English, just getting... He's going to have some footprints on him by the time this match is over. Oh, Cesaro finally takes some damage. And no, just like that, that damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Even worse, even worse, even worse. And that small bit of damage was not enough. Ooh, that was close. Out of nowhere. Uppercut! Punch to English. How about another one? And how about a clothesline for good measure? Oh! Cody Rhodes trying to break Cesaro's neck. No! Reversal by Cody Rhodes. Maybe that's what Cesaro's signature is, getting clotheslined by his opponent. No! Oh my god, the table exploded! God! Vicious! Oh my god! Look at this one more time. No, not this. This. Cesaro got up, tried to, like, block it. Oh, God, Cesaro went flying as well. Alright, Rhodes v. Rusev. Raw World. Wow. Alright, here we go. Final match. Here on Raw. It is, like I said earlier, Mr. Face taking on the Natural Disasters. Earthquake, he is fully and completely back from his injury received by Austin Aries, and he was out for almost the full year last year. He got hit with a tag team title, but it really destroyed 
Earthquake Skull. Like, it was really bad damage. Now, this is a normal tag team match. I'm going to go as Mr. Face. Maybe, you never know, maybe the Natural Disasters can pull it off. Ah, uh, Mr. Face. Mr. Face. <laughs> Mr. Face. What a name of a tag team, am I right? Thank you, thank you, I created it. I got some of the weirdest superstars. Who is it? It is the natural disasters. Hold on, just wait for it. And the match has started. I think you can see the way this tag team is going to work. No, they actually just wanted to have a good match in their first match. They want to win their first match. In a way, this team is going to be a bit like the Wolf Pack. My God, such strength from Mr. Perfect. Oh, oh, into the foot of Two Face. Knee to the head. Headbutt. They're too close, Mr. Perfect cannot hit Earthquake. Oh! Punch to the face. Close line! Takes out Typhoon to the top rope. Oh my god, diving clothesline. They might be and they might end up taking on the shield at extreme rules. Earthquake gets out of the ring just before Mr. Perfect able to hit him. I'm so good I can clear the ring of everybody, including the referee. Oh, you want to go? Earthquake! Clothesline! Earthquake! Taken out! Another vicious clothesline. Two face to the top rope. Elbow drop. Oh, good reversal there from Typhoon, though. Two face now. Earthquake wiped out.
Two faces absolutely obliterating the natural disasters, barely breaking a sweat. Doesn't even need to tag in Mr. Perfect right now. No! DDT! Oh, welcome back up onto the apron, Earthquake. Typhoon taken out! Three! Mr. Face will take on the shield! Alright, let's write it in. Mr. Face. V. Shield. Raw. Tag team titles. One, two, three. That clothesline there, Mr. Perfect, just took out Earthquake to make sure that he didn't come in and break it up. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to upload the draft. And then <coughs> record SmackDown. Peace.